fitting backdrop for a match of massive significance. The stage is set, a packed house at the ready, awaiting two teams who like nothing better than to test themselves on a stage like this. The tricky part is trying to decide which side will outbox the other. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you for all the action on EA TV. Good evening to you from a city that has become one of Germany's most visited in recent years. We're in Leipzig. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. There might be a chance here. What a save. And here's how Leipzig will line up. Well, they're going to set up as a 4-4-2, which means the front two will need to be clever with their combination play. Dynamic with their movement and energetic with their closing down. I'm looking forward to seeing... Now that goes down as a robust piece of tackling. What's the referee going to do next? Well, the referee not hanging about here. He's decided to caution him, Stuart. And he's going to be under a lot of pressure now. That was a poor challenge. David Alaba. Oh, what a clearance under pressure. Had to react and did. And Bellingham. Able to close down the shot. And a play in a Real Madrid throw-in coming up. He has time to play it over. Cutting infield here. Oh, goodness me, off the post. Well, Real are on the front foot here, and they're very unfortunate not to be leading after that effort. It comes to nothing in the end. And Bellingham. Oh, really close with that effort. He really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him, his movement is excellent, and in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Tony Kroos, attacking possibilities for Real, and unable to pick out a teammate, and that'll be a throw. Dribbling with it, but out of play. Tony Horse. Excellent strike! Terrific block. Oh, blocked it! Tony Horse. David Alaba. Vinicius Junior. Course. I'll tell you what, that is really top class defending. Danny Olmo. Powerson. Pulls it back. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. 
Modric. This is Alaba. Distributing it well. Can he play it in? Poor attempt at a pass, really. Rodrigo and passing it well a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Schlager Danny Olmo with it can he finish this oh that's textbook goalkeeping <laughs> trying to pick out a teammate and taking care of the situation. Chance here. And danger still. The referee spotted the infringement. And it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Oh, good vision. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. David Alaba. The ball with Luka Modric. Can he find the right pass? Benjamin Henriks. Envies and lining it up. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Who can they pick out? That's fine goalkeeping to hold on to the corner. Eder Militao. This is Alaba. Jude Bellingham. Oh, good use of the ball. What to like about that pass. And he's in an offside position. Rodrigo Rodrigo now well, the conclusion he's missed the opportunity Aidara Envies angles it back in search of space and the referee's verdict is penalty kick well no card just a warning and a fair few protestations well not every foul is a yellow card I think the referee is right here to extend the lead here. Oh, he's 
guessed correctly and saved it. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Jude Bellingham. The ball with Luka Modric. Bellingham. Alaba. How about the cross? Vinicius Jr. On to cross. Can they square the game? And it's in beyond the goalkeeper. Real Madrid are level. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, that's a great reaction, isn't it? Ancelotti is so relieved to be back on level terms here. And that is going to do it. That is going to be all for the first half here in Leipzig. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Good distribution. And a textbook interception. Simons. Valverde given away by Real Madrid Paulson strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving good tackle taken away we're using the space really well but now can they push on well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here Aydara now with Paulsen huge block well after pressing like that maybe the short route to goal Good move in the making from Leipzig. They could nudge in front. Well, it might still work out for them. Danger averted for now. Tony Kroos. Now, who can he play it to? Valverde takes on the shots. And Bellingham, here's Vinicius Jr. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Simons, and Leipzig in a position of menace. Takes aim, he got a good palm on it. As you can see, Leipzig have created a lot of chances and really should be ahead in this game. They just need to be more clinical. And with tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action, potentially. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And Real 
Madrid have it back now. That's a good pass. Zaibout. And teammates around him. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Eder Militao. This is Alaba. David Alaba. Tony Kors. Rudiger has it. Eder Militao. Nice looking pass. And he read it well defensively. Could really get at the opposition. Envies. Genuine chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. taken short and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Schlager and the shot oh, what a magical save it was well they've been frustrated for quite a while now but these fans have suddenly come to life well Real Madrid are going to make the change now Short corner taken. Really smart stop, and no advantage for either side here. Now he's kept his team on level terms here. That was a really top class save. Played over, and the goalkeeper really exuding confidence. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. And he put it in. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. Valverde. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Leipzig pushing forward with options available. Eder Militao. Five minutes to go. Not to like about that pass. And clears his lines. Rodrigo. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to stop it. And a substitution in the offing. with the corner oh they've done it they forged ahead and it might be the goal that gives them victory well here you can see it again it's a superb cross just asking for someone to go and meet it and then what a great finish as well Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal.
So there we have it, 2-1. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Elmas trailing as they are. They're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Elmas. And crossed in there. Looked to me like a good cross, but fine goalkeeping. David Alaba. And there is the full-time whistle. Real Madrid pick up all three points in this their opening match in the Champions League. Yeah, that's a good win and a vital three points. Another win next time out, and they'll be in a great position. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.